Welcome back. You are tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show right here on S3, and it really is all about those feel good vibes this morning. Now, next up, following its sold out concerts in 2022, Queen It's a Kind of Magic tribute show returns. Yes, we are excited. We are here for it. And joining us right now, Warren Vernon Driscoll, who plays Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of for Queen uh, It's a Kind of Magic. And he is here to tell us everything we need to know about this incredible show. Let's give him a feel good welcome, everyone. <laughs> Warren Vernon. It's good to have you. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, Warren, I went to the last show you did here and it was incredible. I think the crowd, we were on our feet most of the show, singing along to every song you were performing. How does it feel being back for round two? I mean, it's always amazing to perform on home turf. Uh, I mean, I'm from Cape Town, so it's really nice to be able to, to sing for, yeah, for everyone we know, friends and family and the extended South African hears, I'd say, yeah. Yeah, look, we are excited, we are here for it. I mean, Queen is just, you know, one of those timeless artists, you know, you yeah. cannot get tired of it. The music is just unbelievable. What are you bringing this time around to, to Cape Town and well, Durban? What can we expect? I mean, it's all the outlandish costumes, obviously. Um, we've got all the lights and big LED screens that enhance the show. We um, we take a meticulous detail to um, to what we have on stage. So Rusty Red, who plays Brian May, plays an identical Red special. Oh, wow. um, we've got the the drum skins from what Queen would uh, would have used. So we we and even the boots that I wear are actually what Freddie wore. The boxing boots that he wore, really? not his exact ones, yeah, but it but took a while to find those uh, yeah. those shoes. So we we've we've taken a lot of attention to detail. Yeah, and a strong build, focus uh, on authenticity. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's always so exciting because you're in South Africa right now, you're doing your tour in Cape Town, and after the South African leg, you're heading to Australia. How important is it for you being able to play Freddie Mercury's music to, to, to keep his memory alive and, and his legacy living on? So the first thing I say to everybody is that there's only ever going to be one Freddie Mercury. That's very important to understand uh, that I feel. And I do, I do this the best way I can relate to him, which is by giving the energy on stage, singing the music in the correct key, and then, you know, using the mannerisms, etc. So it feels special to be able to do that, but there's still a little bit of me on stage too. Um, and I, I feel really privileged to be able to share a stage ex essentially with him. Yeah. <laughs> May I ask, how long have you been stepping into this role? Oh, about with this show. about five years now, four four or five years now. I'm not counting. I'm just going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going. I mean, you must have had some incredible, magical experiences taking this show abroad. I mean, what is it about this particular show? Because it, people come back every yeah. single time. I think I think the difference is we we not a musical, so we don't, we don't have a storyline. We don't have a, yeah a narrative to follow. We are a straight-up rock and roll show that tries to recreate the the feeling of watching Queen live. Mm. So we still we we're not going to have any timeline uh, things. It's just we hit the stage and we we play every single hit that Queen wrote. Um, well, most of them. We can't play all of them. We don't have time for that, really. Yeah. There's a, no, there's a lot, but really <laughs> yeah. giving that that concert experience. Yeah, it's, it's straight up a concert. Mm. Oh, and that's what people want. People are so excited to, you know, relive those moments. I remember watching the movie Bohemian Rhapsody yeah. for the first time with my mom. Mm. And when we left the cinema, I said, oh, my word, you grew up in such an incredible era. I wish we had concerts like they had back then. Of course. It was such an inspiring time for, for music in general. Yes. Um, yeah, it wasn't easy to, to release music. And the music that took off was really special. So I feel that was, yeah, it's awesome. Are there, sorry, no. are there plans for you to, you know, perhaps break out of this role and bring out music of your own, or are you enjoying being able to, to be in this position? Um, at the moment, I'm content. Uh, I, I have released some stuff in the past, and uh, in the future, I hope to, to do some as well. But at the moment, I'm really happy. Uh, it's a challenging role, and that's what any musician or entertainer would ask for, yeah. I'd say. No, I think it's an incredible role that you step into and to, to step into the shoes of an iconic rock star like yeah. Freddie Mercury and taking it all over the world must be, must be a, an experience like none other, yeah. especially taking a look at how the different audiences also maybe react and, and what you get from the audience. Yeah, that's true. Every, everywhere you go, there's a different song that yeah. te seems to get the audience uh, <laughs> going. So, uh, yeah, some days it will be... Um, Bohemian Rhapsody, other days it will be I want to ride my bicycle. You just don't know what people are going to love. What is it for South Africans? 
Well, so far this year, I'd say it's We Are The Champions. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, definitely, well. <laughs> definitely. We are the champions indeed. What are the plans for 2024 with this show? So we have a massive, massive Canadian tour coming up, about 40 shows, uh, which is over three months. So that's quite intense. I think that's the main one I'm, I'm focused about. And then there are a few other shows that I think will be popping up along the way too. Um, but so far, we, we booked uh, quite intensely in Canada for now. Yeah, that's but it incredible. seems like we are going to be seeing you back in 24 as well. I hope so. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, man. Listen, um, we're going to give you a taste of what's to come because this man is going to perform for us in just a bit. But if you would like to pull through, I suggest you do not miss it. It's a kind of magic trip you show. It's going to be at the Grand Arena in Grand West on Saturday, the 9th of December at 8 p.m. You can get your tickets at itickets.co.za.